that four foot zoom though. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another performance review. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're talking about... This is... I say the whole thing? In so okay, many I, videos, I, you've I, said I, it. I, sorry, my, fault. <laughs> <laughs> my fault, my fault. Let's go again. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another performance review. And as you guys can see by the title, we're talking about... The Nike PG2. Oh my God, Timmy. Oh my gosh. What an incredible shoe. Thank you, Nike, thank you. The Nike PG2, we are here now. And straight off the bat, aesthetically to me, this shoe is a pretty decent looking shoe. This is one of those shoes that looks a lot better in hand, in person, oh, yeah, most than definitely. it does through the leaked images. Most definitely. That's how it is with a lot of performance shoes, but the Nike PG2's online pictures, what you see online doesn't do it justice. You need to have the shoe in hand to actually see how good the shoe is. It's not incredibly looking, but it still looks very buff on feet. Especially that when you're looking down on your feet, bird's eye view, and um, look, the shoe looks incredible on foot. And the price, ah. 95 pound, <laughs> still. We'll get into why still. still. We'll get into why that's a still in a second. Still. God. <laughs> so as you can see, Flo's got his hands on the Palmdale colorway, which is actually the colorway that PG wore in the All-Star game earlier this year. And I've got the OKC Home Craze colorway, which of course pays homage to Paul George's brand new team for this season, the Oklahoma Thunder. Like most signature shoes, this shoe comes with a few key callouts to pay homage to the player himself as well. On the inside of the shoe, we see 93552, which is actually the area code for Palmdale in Los Angeles, which is actually Paul George's hometown. Then on the very back of the heel of each shoe, we see Mum and we see Pops. And then on the back of the heel, we see Olivia, which is the name of Paul George's daughter. So just a few call-outs to pay homage to Paul George as a player and his life kind of outside of basketball. Quick disclaimer, for those of you that have seen a Harden Volume 2 performance review, aesthetic is something that we gave a score to. Moving forward, that's something that we won't do because it's highly subjective. Maybe the most subjective thing in the world, pretty much. You. And it doesn't add to the performance of the shoe anyway. So moving forward, it's something that we'll only compare, I guess, in our comparisons. Yep. Let's get straight into it. Starting out with our favorite part of the PG2s is the fit of the shoe. The fit of the PG2s is sensational. It is Absolutely incredible. It's like having material that wrap around your foot and from all these different aspects of the shoe, it just locks your foot down and fits your shoe in so many different ways. It's so good. It's so nice. The way the laces are set up, Oh my god, the fit of the shoe is incredible to me. Holds the foot so well and it, it really hugs it. That's the best part about it. Yeah. Even if we're not talking about support, it just holds the foot really well. Super comfortable. And then also the padding in the Achilles section as well, it feels absolutely buff. It's something that I love in a performance shoe and yeah, I love it in this shoe as well. So the fit in this shoe is absolutely incredible. This is one of those shoes where it doesn't matter if you've got a narrow foot or a wide foot. The way the shoe's set up, it just fits everybody really and it, it it fits different people in different ways and the shoe caters for all different types of feet so the fit in the shoe is sensational so with that being said talking about the fit of the shoe to me what do you think the fit of the shoe is given the score? Bam, if I've got to put a number on it it's got to be a higher one it's probably a nine you know mm. that's that's nice isn't it that's nice it bro. deserves it that's real so nice nine fitted shoe facts so next up our next favorite part of the shoe the cushioning system in the pg2 we've got a full length phylon carrier along with a zoom bag in the forefoot, which is actually 10 millimeters thick. Wow. And it felt buff! It's thick. It's thick. It's thick, man. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, this felt too peng. And the best part about it is that it's bottom loaded, which means all you feel is zoom. It's fantastic. It's just so much. It's it's just comfortable. The phylon feels that like maybe it's cored out, so it's a bit softer than normal phylon. Mate, again, talking going back to the fit compared with the comfort of the midsole. Yeah. But fact, I'm losing it right now. Yeah. I'm talking comfort, but then there's responsiveness. Oh. There's court feel. Yes. There's there's just there's just more court feel. The, mate, job's, the job's done. The job's done. This is as good as it gets when you get a shoe that has file on and not full length zoom, basically, mm, either on yeah. the forefoot or on the heel. This is as good as it gets. It feels incredible. This is like the closest thing to Jordan Brand's flat plate. Oh yeah. That's that's yeah. what yeah, I felt. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what I thought in my head when I felt this shoe. It feels just as good as that. Correct. But it's not full length. So therefore the score of the cushion is a strong eight out of ten. Very strong. This is a very good cushion. You can't give it a nine out of ten because it's not full length zoom, 
But if it were full length swim, even if there was a if, if there was a zoom in in here, you couldn't feel it. It would be a 9 out of 10. But there's nothing there apart from Phylon. So 8 out of 10. It's fantastic cushion. So moving on to the traction of the PG2. Now this is one of the first times that Timmy and I actually had a chance to board in the solid rubber outsole and translucent as well. Now the traction pattern in the PG2s has this psychedelic Aztec floral wave pattern. I don't know why I use that voice. What? I'm what so sorry. I'm so sorry. Psychedelic Aztec floral wave pattern. <laughs> now the traction pattern did the absolute trick. It was absolutely fantastic. The solid rubber outsole, Timmy told him. Fam, you see this here? You see this here? This was bad boy. Yeah. Absolutely bad boy. It's solid rubber, which I'm a big fan of, if you know. So it's held up pretty well. Great on some dusty courts, great on some clean courts too. It also wraps around as well, so you kind of get that sidewall traction too. Yeah. Fam, good stuff right here. Yeah. Great stuff, in fact. Now, it goes a little bit downhill when we have the translucent outsole. Clean courts, you are fine. Dusty courts, it picks up a little bit of dust. But my problem with the translucent outsole is that it wears away very quickly. I've only played in the shoe for about two weeks now and it's already worn out in certain parts of the, of the traction pattern. But apart from that, the traction was amazing. So with that being said, when it comes to outdoor use, don't use this one, use that one. Use that one, don't use this one. And also, of course, I definitely recommend using the solid rubber option for outdoors, but even with that, the compound of the rubber is very soft, so I'm not sure how long it will last outdoors, but between the two, I'll definitely go with that one. So with all that being said, yet again, the traction for the PG2 comes in at a very strong eight. Very strong eight out of 10. The shoe's killing it so far, you know? Yeah, it's doing the great stuff, man. Low key bits. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this turns out. So moving on into the materials of the PG2, we've pretty much got mesh covering the whole shoe, along with neoprene-like materials and hits of synthetic suede as well. All of them did the absolute trick. They were soft, they felt really nice, they were lightweight, they moved really well, really flexible, and even the synthetic suede is a nice hit. It doesn't get in the way, it's there to kind of pay homage to old school kind of shoes. I'm not a huge fan of having lots of suede on a shoe, so I'm really happy about where it is and kind of why it's there. So with that being said, the materials on this shoe are absolutely incredible. With the price point, £95 with these materials, the materials have to be an 8 out of 10. Must, it's a eight steal. Out of 10. Strong. Come on. Last and definitely not least, talking about the support of the shoe, all we have in the PG2s is the overall lockdown of the shoe, which was fantastic, the outrigger, which helps with lateral support, this four foot band, which does an amazing job locking your foot down, and then the midfoot um, lace loops, which also do a fantastic job of locking your foot down. And you also have this heel counter, which is there, it's a, it's a little one, um, but it's not your usual TPU heel counter, but there's still something there that along with the padding along in the inside, which help with heel containment. So talking about the support, there's good news and there's bad news, quite frankly. Yeah. What do you want to hear first, Timmy? You know, give me the good news, give me the good news. All right, the good news is that this band here along the midfoot is fantastic. It acts almost like a strap, but unlike a strap, it locks you down from this part of the shoe, which is the inside and the outer part of the shoe. So it's like having two straps. Oh yeah. There's only one band. Strapped up. Which is mad. And then the bad news is that the heel counter isn't great. There's a bit of heel slippage. The lockdown of the shoe is all right, so you don't notice it that much, but there's still a little bit of heel slippage, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's still okay. So with that being said, taking everything into consideration, the support comes in at a good seven out of 10. Oh, seven yeah. out of 10 support, this is good support. Yes, very good. I'm not hating it at all. So all right guys, looking at each individual score, the PG2 comes in at a very strong eight out of 10. Come on. That's strong, you Come know. Come on. We won't see too many 8s out of 10 on this channel, that's you know. That's cheeky, you know. That's, that's cheeky, bro. For a shoe that retails at £95, with this insane fitting shoe, with incredible traction and mid cushioning, the support is good. This is an absolute steal to me. Steal? Steal for 95 quid. You're joking. Like he's just giving these away. It's just free. It's basically free. It's an amazing shoe. This is one of the best shoes on the market right now. I'm not lying to you guys. Get a pair of PG2s. This shoe is fantastic. So, all right, guys, that's it from us. As always, if you like this video, 
like the video. And as always, make sure you comment down below if you're feeling the PG2s, if you're feeling the look, if you're feeling our performance review, and if you'll be getting a pair for yourself as well. And of course, don't forget to follow boys on Instagram, at purekicks.ig, on Twitter also, at purekicks underscore TW. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be the first to check out all of our latest videos as soon as they come out. So all right guys, that's it from us. This is the Nike PG2, we're Pure Kicks. Let's get it. Yo, Flo. Yo. Sign him out real quick. Sign him out. Please. I got you.